hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial uh, in this video tutorial we are going to talk about the database metadata in JDBC metadata basically means the data that provide a uh, structured description about some other data from a from a programmers point of view uh, database metadata refers to the data about data database data or the information about tables, views, column types, column names, result sets, store procedures and databases. Java JDBC Metadata API provides the means to retrieve that information through Java code. Java Metadata informations are particularly useful for writing code that can adapt to several database system or to the con or to the useful uh, sorry or to the content of any database that means creating a sort of generic interface that uses advanced database features to discover database metadata at runtime so this is pretty much explanation about the uh, metadata what is metadata and what is database metadata now how to get database metadata object to obtain, uh, obtain our object of database uh, uh, database metadata we need to call get metadata methods of connection object so in earlier video tutorial uh, we saw how to get the result set metadata object so in result set interface we have a get metadata object that returns you the result set metadata and result set metadata uh, gives you the information about the metadata about result set right so similarly we have a get metadata uh, same name uh, method with the same name which is available in the connection interface so to get the object of database metadata you need to first get the reference of connection object so one, once you get the once you connected with the database then you can call get metadata method which is available available in the connection interface that returns you the database metadata object now use of metadata jdbc metadata api can be used to retrieve the information following information about the database like database users tables views and store procedures etc like database schema and catalog information also you can retrieve through jdbc api jdbc metadata api tables views or column privileges uh, information about the primary key foreign key of the table etc now i have listed few important methods which is available in the database metadata but uh, there are many more methods you can go and see if for more information you can explore the documentation so here i have listed few methods like uh, to get the database product name you can call get meta get database product name uh, this will read the database server name again get uh, get database product version so to read database server version uh, get driver name if you want to find the driver name then you have a method is called get driver name similarly if you want to get the database username then we have a get username if you want to retrieve the database url then get url and to check database is is in read only mode sometimes just you are reading you connect to the database remotely or locally and you have only read read privilege so you can check whether you have a uh, read privilege only by calling the is read only so <coughs> that's all enough about the uh, database metadata so this was just a theoretical overview on it now let's uh, go uh, on go, go go for the hands-on so here i have created a project with database metadata demo and here i have a utility class is called dbutil and there i have a static method is called get connection which returns uh, me the connection object and this connection object is getting created in the static block right so when you call this method by call this class name dbutil uh, dot get connection from client program right so before returning this connection this static block will be executed and this connection object is get created and same is going to return to the client right so all database information i have declared as a constant at the top of the class and same i am using in this static block so this is pretty enough now uh, come to the client program now in client program uh, i am using try with resources right so uh, as we know that connection interface extends auto closable interface so 
if you use try with resources then correction you don't need to close in explicitly in the finally block right this will be automatically closed by the jvm at the end of the program now once you get the connection object then you will have to call get metadata method on it and this will return you the reference of database metadata now now you have object of uh, object of database metadata now you can call its method there are a lot of pl plenty of method in this so i would say get data this minor version as well as major version so let's read these things so similarly you can get lot many information get database major version Now let's explore some more method like get uh, username if you want to retrieve the database username that you also you can uh, get using this reference so username you can print over here and even as we discussed in the slide you can get the database url as well right so get url this returns you the database url itself database url sorry so and let's check few method which returns you the boolean value like is read only so you can print value for this as well so this is going to return you to either true or false okay so let's run this program see what output we are getting so you can check so saying that database minor version is 0 database major version is 5 I am using mysql 5 so that's the major version now username uh, that is going to return root at the rate localhost database url or uh, database is row is read only that is going to return false that means you have also write, uh, write to the database as well right so if you go to the database metadata then you can see there are hands of hands full of handfuls of methods uh, that is provided by this api or this interface you can find different kind of information from the uh, uh, metadata about the database so yeah, I will encourage you to go and explore this API and to get the more information about the uh, metadata about the database. And this was just, just a high level insight on uh, database uh, metadata object. So you can explore uh, if you want to uh, if you want to know about uh, in more details about this uh, API. Then you can go and uh, you can explore there are, there are many more methods you can see so nulls are sorted high nulls are sorted low this will gi give you if you perform uh, some kind of select operation then if your column contains a lot of null value then in what order uh, if uh, that uh, null value is going to return whether that null value will be returned before the null non null value or after the non null value so these are the things you can check so I will encourage you to go and explore this API for more information. And that's all I have in this video tutorial. This was a very quick video on uh, results, uh, database metadata interface. So thanks for watching this video and this code I am going to upload on the GitHub so that you can download it. If you like this video then please subscribe my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching and see you in the next video.